Great question. For the quantitative standpoint, you know, obviously it's revenue, uh, it's retention, it's churn, it's um, net promoter score, it's product usage, product engagement, and internal sort of, you know, client referrals. Are folks speaking positively about your product, about your platform? Um, you know, are there referenceable customers? You know, some of those key elements. We oftentimes during diligence like to speak to customers to determine, you know, um, how engaged they are with the product. Uh, I think that's a key element. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard sort of, uh, you know, quantitative uh, measure to put out there. Um, but I think, you know, as you think through, again, are you replacing a platform? Or are you not? It's back to some of those key elements. How big is the market? Who are the customers, right? What's the customer profile? Who's the buyer percent? Do they have budget? Do they need to create new budget? There's a lot of factors that feed into it. Um, and and is there are there repeatable use cases? I think that's the key element that we look for, especially you know with the early stage companies. Is everything a one-off and a customization of your product, and you know a random selection of features, or is it you know I'm using the full platform end to end. I'm using the full product end to end. I'm using you know this feature set versus that feature set. I'm going to start with a you know free trial or a paid trial, and I'm going to grow into the you know the the enterprise platform or what have you. So it's a combination of, of many of those things. Um, to be completely honest, and it's different for every company.